Hello, in this short video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of engineering templates. Engineering template is a very powerful tool in the toolbox of a modeling and simulation expert. Without even writing a single line of script, a modeling and simulation engineer can create a template to be used by others or for himself to eliminate a lot of routine work needed to set up a simulation model that they often do for a workflow. Here in this video, I'm going to show how you can create engineering template for a bottle top load simulation, and also how you can use the created engineering template to set up top load simulations on different ball geometries without going through the usual process of meshing, applying loads, and boundary conditions, etc. As you can see here, this is my bottle top load model. I have a model with a plastic bottle geometry inside of it have a finite element that has the meshes and section properties inside of it. And I have the scenario for the top load where I am clamping the bottom portion of the bottle and applying a translation load on the top portion of the bottle. And as you can see inside the plastic bottle, I have some publications listed which will point to the bottom, the entire bottle, uh, the loading phase of the bottle, and then uh, also the bottom section of the bottle. So once you have these essential ingredients and run a simulation on this uh, bottle for top load analysis, um, you should be able to create an engineering template to replicate the same top load analysis on any other uh, bottle. So here are the results of the top load analysis on the bot on, on this bottle. So you can go uh, look at the animation of how uh, the bottle is uh, deforming. Uh, so my goal is to create uh, uh, engineering template uh, using this simulation as the base simulation. To do this, uh, you just have to go to the uh, plus, plus icon on the right hand side corner of your 3D experience, say new content, and then uh, create an engineering template in the new content. Once you're here, once you have renamed your engineering template uh, name, uh, you should be add the simulation as the reference for this uh, engineering template. Once you say add reference, it'll ask you to select the simulation. You can go and select this simulation as the simulation that is refer that we are referencing. As you can see, it puts all the simulation related content uh, uh, into the top box uh, and uh, it says these are the unchanged components. Uh, but what we want to do is also change the plastic ball component inside the simulation. So we will add these selected components to component duplicate here. So it goes above. Uh, so these are the components uh, that we are going to process. And then uh, this component, the plastic bottle, this is the component that we are going to say the component to replace. So this will be replaced by a new ball geometry and we will do apply the same exact uh, uh, same exact uh, boundary conditions mesh and everything onto the new bottle. So that's all it is. So once you do this, the engineering template is created. So you can uh, save this engineering template. So now to use the engineering template, uh, let's see by uh, the same modeling and simulation user or any other user who wants to use the template that was created by the uh, other person. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is uh, go in the Katia assembly design app uh, and then in the tool section, click on engineering template instantiation to last for the engineering template to instantiate. You will just go and click on the template that we just created. Anybody can open the template who has access to the platform and the particular content. Now it is asking for the replacing component. What is re going to replace the plastic bottle that is already there in the reference simulation. So we can click on uh, from search and uh, I can search for the new ball geometry that I have already made uh, for which I want to do a, a top load simulation. So I'll use this, uh, this, ball, this ball geometry that I have created. And you just have to say okay here and it's going to give a small preview of how uh, the top load analysis is going to look at, is going to look like uh, for the other ball geometry. As you can see, uh, this is the new ball geometry. The only thing you need to do, do is press okay and it creates a top load analysis on this new bottle. 
as you can see it has meshed the new ball geometry it has put all the boundary conditions on the new ball geometry everything is ready now the only thing you need to do is to go and simulate on this ball geometry the analysis is done as you can see we are able to do the top load analysis on a new bottle using that engineering template without spending much of a time in setting up this analysis at all you can see the animation of how this bottle is deforming thank you very much